Good morning! Good morning sa lahat! So, Monday ulit. And I'm excited kasi ngayon, may bago na naman tayong libro na babasahin. Ito yung Dr. Alice Women's Health Bible. The Essential Guide to Your Health and Well-Being. So, matagal-tagal na sa akin tong libro na to. Kaya hindi ko din siya talaga nababasa. So, I'm so happy na parang nahahabit na natin yung pagbabasa. Sana tuloy-tuloy na to. So, Dr. Alice Woman Health Bible, The Essential Guide to Your Health and Well-Being by Dr. Misaraf Alay. Ganda ng mga ano nila. Color na ano. Ginamit. Ang ganda. So, why women need their own guide? Introduction. When I opened my clinic in London in 1998, I soon found I was receiving many more women than men as patients. And the same is true today. Women have embraced complementary therapies more readily and while not turning their backs on conventional medicine, recognize that a blend of the two in a more holistic approach to health provides more satisfactory answer to their problems and concerns. This is exactly what integrated medicine does. After completing my medical studies, I specialize in complementary and traditional medicine and have developed integrated medicine by drawing on a multiplicity of disciplines. Taking whatever is best and most appropriate to the individual in any particular circumstance. Many doctors nowadays rely on patients to tell them what the matter is. But when I see a patient for the first time, I begin to assess her state of health from the moment she walks into the room, I note her posture in the way she walks, in her facial expression. I look at her skin, a poor or spotty complexion, flushed cheeks, and her eyes. Are they bulging or sunken? Are there bags or dark shadows beneath them? And for telltale signs such as thinning hair or a tightly held jaw, I listen not only to what she says, but how she says it whether her tone is confident or hesitant, high-pitched and acceptable or flat and tired. I will then ask her to stick out her tongue, perhaps feel her pulse, see page 90, and if I feel it, it will be helpful. Carry out iridology diagnosis to see what the irises of her eyes can tell me about her health. At this point, using my years of experience, I will have fairly good idea about her genital condition her general condition. It is then I start asking relevant questions to confirm my assumptions, to form a firm diagnosis. Often by the time patients come to see me, they have seen many other doctors and received previous diagnosis, which can sometimes be confusing. So I find making a fresh diagnosis is always useful. Moreover, I look into collateral issues such as digestion, sleep, stress, in aches and pains. Conditions such as constipation or panic attacks may not at first appear relevant to the original diagnosis, but they provide clues to a patient's general health and help me to make a more complete diagnosis and so decide on the best form of treatment. I came to write a regular column in a major British newspaper supplement because of its female readership. Family health the risk primarily in a woman's hand Far more women than men care for the family's well-being. They prepare the food they eat, make up appointments with doctors, nurse them through illnesses, and read about health care. In the first part of this book, I take a look at why it, is, why it is so important that a woman's health should not be considered and treated exactly the same as a man's. This means taking into account the less obvious ways in which women differ from men. Ways that are not visible on the surface, but which can make a big difference to 
to the way women are affected by illness. One of the most frequently asked questions I get from my pa patients is, what type am I, Dr. Ali? There is a fascination with categorization of all sorts, from blood types to ancient Ayurvedic classification. And it seems that almost every woman patient I see is eager to know which she fits into. For this reason, I have included in part one some brief details that may be interesting in this respect. Part two is the core of my approach to health and well-being, expanding my basic lifestyle program to emphasize relaxation and moderation, vital factors in maintaining a healthy balance, as well as practical examples of how the lifestyle diet an exercise regime can be incorporated into a VC schedule. There is a MOT specifically tailored for women in different stages of life. Part 3 encompasses all aspects of women's health, from alleviating period pains or hot flushes to understanding anorexia, from the significance of a lump in the breast to enjoying a trouble-free pregnancy. Through this book, I hope that you will come to understand better how your body works in health and in ill health and that it will help you balance the physical, psychological, and emotional aspects of your life. I also hope that it will prove an invaluable guide to whatever ailments, major or minor, you may have to face. Dr. Masarath Ali, November 2005. Why women need their own guide. Ideally, a woman's doctor should not only know about obstetrics and gynecology, gynecology, but also be trained in endocrinology, which deals with all hormonal function, psychiatry, child care, skin care, wealth management and nutrition, as well as general health care. However, it is not uncommon for a gynecologist to say glibly, go and get some weight off or get your stress sorted out without being able to give complete guidance him or herself. In this age of specialization, there are more specialists and fewer generalists. What every woman needs is a generalist women's physician who understands women's specific problems and can deal with them. You simply cannot run a well woman clinic without being able to deal with the whole range of issues faced by women in the course of their lives. At the moment, Though such facilities are astonishingly rare, and so it is up to you to learn about how your own body functions, to recognize how it responds to different stresses and circumstances, and to know how best to treat it in the hope of being rewarded by a long and healthy life. A vital part of this is to understand something of the many ways in which women differ from men, differences that go far beyond body shape and the ability to have babies, and how very varied women themselves are, so that what may be right for your sister's in sister in law or your neighbors may not be right for you. Pretty pretty. Ganda. So chapter one, women in the 21st century. Once women's internal workings were considered a mystery in their minds and unfathomable, nowadays all too often the real differences between men and women are ignored or many minds. But equality doesn't mean sameness. Somehow, we have to reach a true equality that allows for a woman's feminine nature to be an integral part of her life in health care. Women's health and well-being. Well-being goes beyond health. You can be technically healthy and yet not feel great. Someone afflicted 
with, for example, migraine, menstrual cramps, chronic fatigue syndrome, general aches and pains, irritable bowel syndrome, frequent coughs and cold, insomnia, depression, or panic attacks will probably show no or very little variation from the norm in physical health checks such as blood tests. Many women have perfectly normal periods and show no hormonal irregular irregularities, yet they cannot conceive naturally. A medical examination can reveal so little of such suffering. Although there are departments of gynecology and obstetrics in hospital, hospitals and clinics to treat conditions that are specific to women, for most aspects of health, men and women are generally treated in the same way, in the same place. Economics plays a big role in this, and so does convenience. Treating the disease rather than the person can be a particular disbenefit to women. To give just one example, steroids are commonly prescribed to sufferers of rheumatoid arthritis or MS. But men and women react to them very differently. A woman will find she gains weight and her face pops up. She suffers from fluid retention and often has problems with her periods. She is likely to have trouble sleeping and have terrible mood swings so become aggressive. Men are much less likely to have any such troubles, troubling side effects. Farther problems that, affects, that afflict women, such as exist by the hair, hormonal weight gain, hair loss, and PMS, are often misunderstood, misconclude, or dismissed as vanity matters. As women, you are routinely cons counseled not to take drugs or eat certain foods to, while you are pregnant to safeguard the baby's health. But what about your own health? Artificial hormones, antibiotics, painkillers, and other regularly prescribed drugs can have horrendous side effects. Most of the hormones and fertility drugs have temporary benefits, but at a price in drugs to treat endometriosis. For example, act by suppressing female hormones, thereby giving a boost to the male hormones all women also have, resulting in gradual loss of femininity. Should you have subjected to drugs that tamper with you, with your being as a woman. An addition, major contributor to women's ill health is one that is mostly overlooked or underestimated, the stress brought on by conflicting demands of modern life. A change in emphasis. It is my firm belief, based on years of experience, that the pattern and strains of modern life have altered the way a woman feels looks and behaves in traditional families women ran the affairs of the family and were called housewives as they work at home the power they held was real and their preeminence in matters such as child rearing family health domestic spending and in wealthier homes staff training and discipline was undisputed however in a many based economy Wealth equals power in a healthy balance of duties and responsibilities can easily become distorted in favor of whoever holds the first strings. Sopragism, woman's limb and equal right, affirm to do much to redress the balance of power, but in fact brought with them a new set of difficulties. Women discovered they have to work harder than their male counterparts to prove their equality. Some found they had to bury their femininity by mimicking a male style of working or adopting a ladite persona. Working women with a family open found the larger part of household chores and maintaining the family clue still filled to them, testing their enemy energy levels to the limit. They will juggle job and family commitments and wrestled with guilt when one distracted from the other. Women who choose not to follow a career or paid employment found they lost status, 
and became defensive about their choice or guilty about not contributing to the family finances. When body and psych are put under strains like this, it is obviously reflects on general health but also rebounds on women in perhaps an unfair way, on their womanhood itself. Stress hormones such as adrenaline are acting in nature to male hormones and an increase in male ho style hormones is one of the most unnatural things that can happen to a woman. Many conditions on the in increase today, including polycystic ovary syndrome, infertility in some forms of obesity, stems from this shift in hormonal balance that stress induces. Listening to nature. A woman's body is perhaps more attuned to nature than a man's. One of the main reasons for this is that the effect of hormonal cycles are more prominent. It has frequently been noted that hormonal-based problems respond better to natural treatments than when tackled with strong medicines. Fertility treatments with medicine often fail, while unnatural ones, herbs, relaxation diet are more successful. Many couples have given up trying for... Many couples have given up trying for or having adopted a child, subsequently have their own, when the anxiety of not conceiving has gone. In heavy periods, menstrual cramps and pain, endometriosis, polycystic ovary syndrome, amenorrhea, and PMS, usually treated by hormones, often come back when the medicines are stopped. So, man... Hindi. Okay na niya siya. Ah, thank you. Sound advice from the past. Many newly qualified doctors still take the Hippocratic oath by which they promise to take good care of their patients, not to harm, not to change them too much, and to be compassionate. Unfortunately, few physicians today know much more about Hippocrates, the father of medicine, what he preached and why he was so important. Despite his demise or nearly 2,500 years ago, much of what this Greek physician taught in practice has equal relevance today. Some of the main features of the preaching were, we all have a healthy power healing with 
We all have a healing power within us that keeps our body healthy and protects us through illness. This innate power he called physis. This is the root word such as psychology, physiotherapy, and physician itself. By the meaning has been lost because neither do physicians treat the physis nor is physiology about the knowledge of physis. Today's physicians do not believe in physis or natural innate healing powers. The closest they come to accepting it is by talking about the immune system, which relates only to the means by which the body defends itself from external invasion of bacteria or allergens. This physis or healing power can be can by itself cure about 80% of illness, with medicines and other interventions required only for the remain, remain, remainder. This is in direct contrast with much more of modern medicine, where treatment or intervention is applied to most conditions. Physis needs to be nurtured and keep active by simply means good nutrition, massage, exercise, and rest. This makes sense if you eat and exercise sensibly, rest enough and use massage to remove fatigue and improve circulation. You are likely to stay healthy. And if you do fall ill, such simple treatments will help to replenish lost energy and help the body to heal and recover quickly. Hippocrates saw two opposing forces acting constantly within the body to maintain equilibrium of health, bacteria, hazardous pollutants and potentially harmful substances around us and enter our bodies via injuries to the skin and mucous membrane through air, water, and food. This form the pathogenic force pathos disease. Our body challenges them with the sanogenic force, sanos health. Pathos disease, sanos health. Disease. Sanos. It was to see it sinus supposed to help. When the synergetic force suppress and pathogenic force we remain healthy. If the pathogenic force overpowers our synogenic force, then the result is disease or illness. When we are ill, we need energy to fight the illness plus an additional boost to get back to optimum health. The best way to prevent and combat illness is to have a strong sanogenic reserves. When the body is diseased or ill, any treatment should help the sanogenic forces or healing power without ill effects. Hippocrates was well aware of the dangers of aggressive treatment in a modern version of his oath includes the promise. I remember that there is art to medicine as well as science, and that warm sympathy and understanding may outweigh the surgeon's knife or the chemist's drug. Cyclinical influence. It is amazing how most natural phenomena are cyclical, and in fact, a presence of cycles within our own body is a demonstration of how much we are part of nature and open to being afflicted affected by cycles in the cosmos, the environment, and the earth. The sun, junar cycles within us, the moon, the monthly cycles of periods, and the planets, seasonal cycle, all influence our bodies, 
Our body clock do not follow an exact 24-hour cycle, but have to reset each day by sunlight. And I have known several women whose ovulation or start of their periods always coincide with the full moon. And I have known several women whose ovulation or start of their period always coincide with the full moon. Women living or working together long term often have their periods more or less around the same time. This is partly due to a subconscious reaction to female pheromones, pheromones, but it's also feasible that receptors in the brain are sensitive to these natural cycles. Galen, the great Greek, the great Greek physician surgeon, and later Avicenna, the wise Persian physician expanded this concept even farther. They formulated six essential for optimum health, food and drink. With a balanced, moderate diet, diet, our digestive system function better. Sufficient nutrients provide the body with all its raw materials and other requirements, and they help the body fight off ailments. Herbs and spices have medical medicinal properties while certain foods and beverages can damage the body if taken in excess. Four, five, six, fifty, sixty, seventy. Ah, uh, okay, na. Thank you. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Kasulat na. Kapulin, kajok. Kana lang kuan, ma'am. Katong last time lang na ano. Ha? Bantings. Kana mura kuan, ganun niya. Kana mura pala dha, o. Nakasulat naman mo, no? Wala pa.
Come on. Number two, air and environment. It is not pollutants in the atmosphere that alone cause ill health. The temperature of the air, the pollen, viruses, or airborne diseases, the smell or putrefying rubbish or sewers, and overcrowding or urban areas all affect the quality of the air. Low and high atmospheric pressure, storm, and freak weather changes affect our well-being. Cold air causes mucus discharge and sinus problems. Number three, movement and rest. Anything done to exist can cause illness, especially if it is not mitigated by sufficient rest. Exercise and movement are beneficial, keeping the body strong and supple, but the energy consumed in physical activity takes time to be replenished. If overactivity becomes a habit, and no time is given to the body to restore its energy, then it gets run down. Sleep in wakefulness. Lack of sleep is a common cause of many psychological illnesses. A good night's sleep creates a positive mood and greater energy in the body functions better. Eating in evacuation. Both eating too little and eating too much have serious health implications. People survive remarkably in times of famine, but nutritional deficiencies open them to infection and weaken their innate ability to regain a state of health. Poorly, functional, poorly functioning bowels relate to numerous illness. Emotions. Emotional troubles manifest themselves in a mixture of psychological and physical symptoms such as palpitations, anxiety, and phobias. Depressions bring not, brings on not only morbid thoughts and a poor sense of self-worth, but chronic fatigue, low blood pressure, poor concentration, lack of sleep, poor appetite in a slow pulse rate. A woman's body is so sensitive to the influences identified by Galen in Avicenna that I will go so far as to say that following a lifestyle program such as described in part two is almost essential it may prove a tough discipline at first but adopting it is a very important step especially to overcoming hormonal and stress related condition the difference between men and women as i pick up the pen to write this one thought comes straight to my mind that this is a daring subject practically taboo most women in the development world have been brought up rightly to say that they are the equal of men, but this has also led to widespread but wrong belief that they are the same as men. So suggest otherwise appears to condone label such as the weaker sex and fairer sex 
it is not considered politically correct to highlight ways in which men and women differ because this somehow undermines the equality women have so long fought for and seems to indicate discrimination or favoring men over women. Nothing could be farther from the truth. Cleopatra and the Queen of Sheba were not the only women to have lead armies of men into major wars and history record numerous queens, famous president and prime minister. In the former Soviet Union, where I studied medicine, I entire, the entire medical force was dominated by women. Laws gave women special privileges. They had the same job opportunities and were paid equally, but they retired five years earlier than men. They took up tough jobs in the mines and in the road building industry. They drove heavy duty vehicles of trains or flew military and commercial aircrafts. Maternity leave could be extended to up to a year in a woman could retire after bearing her fifth child. Hindi na mga pictures talaga. Kaya I love yung mga pictures. A woman's place. In the course of his work supplying equipment to golf club, my father used to spend several months a year in Assam, where golf was a favorite pastime among the British managers of large estates. Throwing sound of the remote third district, her remote third district, he came to learn about some of Assam's martial martial arts tribes. In Kamro. For example, a woman worked in the fields, harvested, made decisions about their community in red religious ceremonies, while the men look after the babies and children cook, clean, wash, and taught the children's song, folklore, and dances. There is an echo here of stories of the Apsara, the fairies of the Himalayas. According to legend, the beautiful female Apsara rode and went out to fight wars while their men fold stay at home and look after the young ones. Today, only a few tribal villages still maintain this female-dominated society, which includes the practice of taking two husbands, provided they are either brother or related by blood. Given this background, it seems that the societal distinctions between men and women in terms of right and power have been man-made, when intellectual and mental capacity are compared, it is, dif it is difficult to find any distinction between the two sexes. If anything, it is boys and men who seem to have the greater struggle, and even within the restriction of Florida, Middle Eastern University turned out more women graduates with higher degrees than men. So if not intellectually, where do these differences lie? beyond the obvious physical ones in how may this affect a woman's health and well-being. Recognizing the deep and very real differences is a step towards improvements for everyone, especially women. Skeletal muscular system. Watch any of the popular archaeological programs on television nowadays, and you will see skeletons being identified by gender and age. The body is built for the functions it carries out. Most people know that women's hips are wider than men's to make childbirth easier, but a woman's body has a further refinement on this. Just before the baby is due, hormones in the placenta trigger calcium loss that causes the relevant joints to diffuse, helping the baby pass through without any hitch. Female bones are also more prone generally to loss of calcium however, leading to a greater prevalence of osteoporosis, brittle bone disease, polymyalgia rheumatica, general body aches, cramps in the toes and legs, rheumatoid arthritis and osteoarthritis. It also means that a woman's bones fracture more easily, and if there are serious hormonal problems or a chronic disease such as diabetes, she will generally heal more slowly. 
The muscular system develops according to the genetic structure of the body, developed over millions of years. Men, therefore, tend towards a V-shape with broad shoulder, narrowing to the hips, whereas women are the opposite, with less emphasis on the shoulder and wider at the hips. Women gymnasts, ice skaters, and ballerinas are more flexible and graceful than their male counterparts because their structure allows them that freedom. But men had the edge in a performance that demands muscular strength. Unless especially trained, women do not have powerful biceps, calves, pectorals, or abdominal or shoulder muscles. Bodybuilding and extensive sports training alter this, but at a price. The muscle bulk burning, building hormones in the body are by nature similar to androgens or male hormones. In excess, cause the female body to change. Lack of periods and infertility are common problems for exercise instructors, athletes, and other women who undergo intensive muscle building and training. Anabolic steroids were an extreme example of this, a notorious part of the international sports scene for many years, endowing female athletes with male characteristics such as facial hair, as well as the ability to build muscle bulk. Some diseases and conditions prevalent in women. There is information on most of this in part three. Migraine. Women are affected three times as often as men. In attacks open arise just before or during periods. Anemia. About three times more common in women. Pregnant women and teenager girls especially prone. Candidiasis. Men can transmit but most problematic for women. Urinary tract infection, cytitis. Women's shorter urethra means that infection can reach the bladder more easily. Rheumatoid arthritis, approximately three times more common in women. Mm -hmm. S. Joe Green syndrome, an autoimmune disease that attacks women about nine times as open as men. SJ, I don't know how to read this one. So green, tama ba? Syndrome. SJ O G. An autoimmune disease that attacks women about nine times as often as men. Cellulite, deposits of white fat in areas such as the thigh. This is related to conversion and storage of excess hormones and is much more common in, in women. Water retention, swollen ankles and puffy hands occur more frequently in women and is condition that occurs especially before periods in extreme heat and on long flights. Irritable bowel syndromes afflicts over twice as many women as men. Polymyelgia rheumatica, PMR, general aches in the body, about twice as many women suffer than men. Poly, poly, Holy my Shea Rio Matica Rio Matica General aches in the body about twice as many women suffer than men. Scoliosis, curvature of the spine, occurs about twice as frequently in women. Lupus, 90% of cases are found in women. On the other hand, men suffer more frequently from kidney stones and tumors, gout and gastric and duodenal ulcers. 
more men than women suffer from chronic leukemia and above in about three times as many get the more common form of ankylosing spondylitis, a progressive autoimmune diseases in which the hip joints and also the vertebrae in the spine fuse together. Blood. The key to all sorts of physical activity is oxygen carried by blood to the muscles. Proportionate to their size and weight, women have fewer blood cells than men in a lower volume of blood. It is also slightly thinner. Menstruation is not a factor in this. Menstrual blood is built up over the month in the lining of the womb, and its loss has little consequence for the body's general stamina or energy. A higher proportion of blood supplying a greater muscle bulk is what gives men a natural advantage when it comes to power and speed. Oxygen allows the conversion of glucose to carbon dioxide in water, and so a small supply of oxygen will lead more quickly to muscle cramps and fatigue. So unless specifically developed, women's muscles tire more quickly. Digestive system and eating habits. A man's digestive system in full health is inclined to be more robust than a woman's as it has in evolved to support harder physical work. So it produces more bile, for instance, to cope with greater amount of food. Women are more prone to reflect psychological problems in their eating patterns. Eating disorders such as anorexia and bulimia are so much more common among women that they are sometimes wrongly believed to be exclusively a female problem. Stress and bodily changes are also more likely to trigger an alteration in dietary habits. A craving for sweet is common pre-menstrually, for example, and the cravings of pregnant women can include oddities such as clay or chalk. And then my picture so no pretty pretty women Mars and Venus yung last time na binasa ko no di ba kay John Green Mars and Venus the difference between men and women in their expression of emotion and personality are so great that I sometimes wonder how they can manage to live together to say that men and women are from different planets is an up shorthand to express how different they can be in their thinking. Boys and girls develop and learn differently. Pida do ghost. Katong gagmay lang na ano, pagkakilupin, tagdos. Naging ani, ang size. Oo. Oh. Thank you. Boys and girls develop and learn differently. Pedadugos are def beginning to recognize that part of the problem with boys lagging behind girls academically is that the different hard wiring of the brain, which is influenced by hormones, means that boys and girls respond differently to certain types of teaching. Even as young as three years, each sex will tend to seek out its own group to play and within. However, strong the conditioning to the contrary, scientific studies have shown a predilection in young boys for playthings 
that move and work in a curiosity in exploring in and girls for toys or activities that involve them in detail or in other people. This probably relates to, to boys faster developing special spatial awareness in girls more advanced fine motor of observation skills. These early experiences inevitably contribute to skills and attitudes in later life. If you grow up with siblings of the opposite sex, you get to learn a bit about each other's habit and behavior. But if you do not, or if you spend years in a single sex school, you are often ignorant of the psychological trends of the other sex. In courtship and as a family, when you look beyond the physical relationship, this can lead to great difficulties. One observation often made by patient I see is that he's a different person or she's changed completely. Shakespeare and others have written about the seven. About the seven age of men. Seven ages of men reflecting our progression through growth and maturity to old age. This stage each with their own characteristics happen roughly every seven years. Of course, we don't switch overnight from child to adolescent at 14, and adolescent to adult at 21, or hit a midlife crisis at 56. But there is discernible rhythm to our lives. At the beginning and end of life, both sexes are similar, but in our middle years in particular, the differences in attitude and outlook are particularly noticeable. For a man and woman to continue to live together harmoniously as a couple means constant adjustment and compromise on both sides in acknowledgement that change is part of life. Hmm. What makes you a woman? We all begin our life as a female, the six chromo chromosomes in our genes, XX for female, XY for male, are there from the moment of conception, but it is only after six weeks of development in the womb that the first secretion of male hormones trigger the initial stage of development into a boy. Until then, male and female embryos are identical. In the earliest stage, the rudimentary external genitalia look exactly the same in both sexes. Under the influence of male hormones, what is the clitoris in the female become the penis in a male. The larger folds of the vagina becomes male scrotum, and the smaller folds of vagina become the shaft of the penis. The testes begin to develop in the male abdominal gravity and descend slowly into the scrotum around the time of birth, while in the female, the ovaries remain inside, held in place by ligaments so that they do not drop with gravity. Sometimes, despite the genetic programming, an embryo is not ex exposed to male hormones, at the appropriate time in the reproductive organs will not modify in this way. The reverse is also true. A genetically female embryo exposed to an excess of male hormones at this time can develop genitalia with male characteristics. Although these intersex conditions are not common, they occur more often than generally realized and indicate that nature in its infinite variety is not necessarily pigeonholed into X or Y. Someone.
Lucy. Asa. Nara ah. Hormones. A major influence on mood and therefore outlook on life is hormones. Both men and women have hormones, of course. After all, they are the deciding factor in whether we are male or female even before we are born. But the hormonal changes in women are more prominent and so the cycle of moods are more noticeable. Premenstrual tension, postnatal depression, and behavioral changes in the early stage of pregnancy are some examples of the hormone-induced mood change in women. Many of the problems and conditions explored in Part 3, from menopausal anxiety to weight control, have a hormonal element. Types of women. Since certain characteristics are often seen to fall together, this has lead scientists and philosophers down the centuries to devise formulas for grouping people. Traditional Chinese medicine observes yin and yang aspects of every part of nature, including ourselves, while astrologers have long used the configuration of the stars at our birth as a guide to our personality and faith. In the earlier 20th century, century, John was separating introverts from extrovert. The fablo devised the labels lively, impetus, calm, and weak, and using blood groups to, defi to divine people's physical and temperamental type is a more recent trend first popularized in Japan. In about 500 BC, Charaka, the father of Ayurvedic medicine, devised three categories into which people could be classified. In recent years, Ayurveda has gained great popularity in the West and many patients, mostly women, ask me to confirm whether they are Vata, Veta, or Kappa. Although I use and recommend Ayurvedic remedies and have learned much from this ancient approach to health and healing. It can be deceptive to adhere to unquestioningly to these traditional categories. The guidance given for balancing overwhelming beta traits, for instance, was to consume extra sugar, but nowadays our bodies are more prone than in the past to an excess of yeast and fungal overgrowth. So adding more sugar will compound the problem, whichever category you may fall into. What's your star sign? Specifically speaking, there is no proof that the planets influence the course of our life. Yet millions around the world read their horoscope daily. And for many, asking someone their star sign is a way of finding out about their personality. Arguing about how planets may affect our lives is not the intention of this book. But if tides are affected by the moon and plants and animals live by the sun, might the planets and stars not have an effect on us? Whether it is based on knowledge read in the heavens or simply intuition fortified by experience, a good astrologer's details of character analysis are often amazingly accurate. In India, 
It is customary to make a birth chart soon after a child is born. This is kept by pandits learned priests trained in astrology, whose guidance is sought in making the right choice in life. Even educated and cosmopolitan Indians will consult the star before launching a new business, releasing a film in Bollywood, recruiting staff or choosing a date for a journey. Analyzing birth charts is an essential part of Indian matchmaking. Astrologists pay special attention to Manglikas, this, those born under the influence of Mars, because they have a strange fate. They can remain, they can never remain married for long except to another Manglika. I have also noted inexplicable influences of germs, gemstones associated with a specific star sign. One patient had had headaches and panic attacks from the time her husband had given her a diamond ring. When after a minor scabble, she did not wear it for some time. Amazingly, all her ailments disappear. Oh. She told me about it and I asked her to wear it again. She was soon back at the clinic for treatment. She never wore that ring again. Perhaps coincident, but I have had other patients, both men and women, whom certain stones did not suit. Oh. Ang sexy. Mga pictures. Ang gaganda. The Four Humors It is also often forgotten that for centuries, the whisk had its own form of classification of type. Galen, the renowned Greek physician who lived in the 2nd century AD, categorized people according to the balance and influence within them of the four humors, blood, sanguine, bile, choleric, film, phlegmatic, and black bile, melancholy. His system continued to be widely used for diagnosis and treatment for over 1,500 years. And I have found that even despite the changes in society, ways of living, and medical advances, his experience and data observation open holds good today. You may find the following interesting. Most women will find the arm mixture, usually of two types. If you are 50% or more true to one type, then you could classify yourself in that category. Sanguine women. Correct me if I'm wrong, ha, kung paano ma-pronounce yung tama ba? This is the first one. Will build tall and muscular, good volume of dark, straight hair. Athletic, love sport, in the challenge of competition. So, man. Hello, Smart? Smart. Ila? Cherry 9? 9-5-1. 9-3-7. 4-9. Kinsey, no? Nine thirty twenty one mm. nine
Tara. Thank you. So, yung mga sanguine women is well built, tall, and muscular, good volume of dark, straight hair. Athletic, love, sport, and challenge of competition. The physical and mental stamina to compete with men. And as girls might have been called tomboys. Bad losers, open brooding or crying over losing, but bouncing back next time, perhaps to perform even better. So, man. PM. Pila. Regular. 20, 09. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 09. 
16 pa na. Nara ah. Thank you. Can experience intense anger but calm down quickly. Will often apologize very tactfully without fully accepting they were wrong. Sp speak fast, blink more frequently than average and quick in answering questions. Open before the question is complete. Witty and often challenging in conversation or debates. Like being like being listened to and often find others' ideas or speech boring. Theirs is often the last word. Optimistic and always see light at the end of the tunnel. Courageous. Oh. Courageous often taking calculated risks to solve problems, but great softness when hurt. Failure or bereavement hit particularly badly, and they take longer to get over hurt or betrayal. Once out of it, they regain their strength. Leadership qualities attracting men and women to follow their ideas. Family and relationships. Attract weaker men ready to do anything they ask. Motherhood brings out softer side, often excellent with children, good at handling discipline and instilling principles. Reproductive health, good regular menstrual periods, conceive easily unless they exercise excessively. General health, high level of activity means weight gain, seldom a worry, eat fast and digest well, can consume more alcohol than other women without after effect. May suffer headaches and have a tendency to high blood pressure. Suffer few colds and cough and heal well. Sleep easily and get up fresh. Open dream of disaster. Cholyric. 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 Women. Tall and well built, stocker than sanguine women, light soft skin with clear eyes, open blue or green, and curly hair that is often dark, 
graceful, soft-spoken, and careful about what they say. Tend to hide feelings, and if they do cry, they do so in private. Fairly active and exercise regularly from concern about the figure, even though weight tends not to be problematic. Vigilant and open cunning, good at arguing their point, but decision-making may be slow compared to sanguine. Good memory. Family and relationships. Sensitive can get hurt very badly, can find themselves in unstable relationship. Reproductive health. Good menstrual flow and regular periods, but may be painful or be accompanied by migraines. Usually one or, uh, or the other, rarely both. Suffer from me pre-menstrual mood fluctuations, bloating and water retention. They become irritable and argumentative as they are intelligent women who hate to suddenly lose their logic and coolness once a month. Conceive easily but have digestive problems in early and late pregnancy. Bad morning sickness and can gain a fair amount of weight. Good volume of breast milk and happy to nurse babies for a long time. General health. There is a saying, God gives beauty to some women but also gives many illnesses and problems. This is most applicable to choleric women. Inclined to sweat a lot and may have strong body odor, making them very conscious of personal hygiene. Good appetite but trouble digesting oily, rich, spicy, or heavy food, making them cautious eaters as digestion problems may follow. Very conscious of abdominal bloating, heartburn, alternating constipation with dionuria, all symptoms of irritable bowels. Careful eating keeps weight under check, but abdominal bloating may give an impression of a thick waist. Digestive problems may result in bad breath. General bad sleepers suffering from fatigue and lethargy. More likely to suffer from skin problems such as eczema, acne, dandruff, or dry skin. Aching joints may restrain acti activity. Phlegmatic women. Phlegmatic Often referred to as fat, fair, and bubbly, straight, usually thin, light-colored hair, and fair skin that is cold and moist to touch, with bluest veins often visible. Muscle hidden away under a layer of fat and usually less developed, very conscious of weight and open camouflage it with good clothes and jewelry, of which they are very fond. Draw people to them with their great personal charm. Come across as cheerful, funny, and happy-go-lucky, but hide their feelings well and can very insecure and sensitive. They can make the whole world laugh while crying inside. Their weight may, the weight, their weight may make them secretly depressed, open, uncertain of themselves, influenced by what people say, and may consult clairvoyance and other for opinions and guidance. Family and relationships. Sit great store by their families, caring by nature and always help those who need it most. Very charitable and concerned about the poor and suffering. Love to cook and feed others and may snap frequently even though they claim not to eat much. Reproductive health. Perils typically light and often irregular. More likely than other types to suffer from polycystic ovaries. Endometriosis, infertility, excess body hair, or low thyroid function, indicating hormonal problems. General health. Intolerant of heat and cold can have cold hands and feet even in summer. Low blood pressure and sluggish metabolism. Constipation can be a problem, so hemorrhoids, varicose veins, water retention, and swollen ankles are common complaints. General aches and pains in joints and more prone to fractures and sprains. Broids easily in open have brittle nails due to a calcium deficiency, perhaps due to constipation. They also get cramp in their toes and calves at night. Tend to suffer from gallstone, diabetes, and sinus or bronchial problems. Can also suffer from depression, eating disorders such as bulimia. Usually very concerned about their health and will cons consult, consult various therapists and doctors. 
Sleep well but often get up tired. Dreams seem lightly and vivid and frequently involve water. Hmm. May portion ako mas malaki yan itong sa pigmat, pigmatic ata. Melancholic Typically thin, not very tall, and with poorly developed masses, may have poor posture. Open creative in the fields of writing or art, may very religious and like reading spiritual books. Soft-spoken and calm, listening more than they talk, it takes a lot to make them angry. Tend to keep their problems to themselves and rarely speak their minds. But the pessimists of this world always seeing the darker side of life, as they are wearing dark glasses all the time. Depression, insomnia, and anxiety are open problems as a consequence. Family and relationship, caring nature makes them good mothers. They will be inclined to read books and to take much advice on child care. Derives great strength and pleasure from their children. And as they are not interfering parents, perhaps rather too soft and kind, give children the sort of freedom they love. May be keen for their children to grow up differently from themselves. Reproductive health, inclined to light or scanty periods lasting just two or three days on average, may have fertility problems or find pregnancy a struggle approach with complication and perhaps linked to nutritional problems. General health, open shown too much meat and feel better with vegetable or fish. Many are vegetarians. Constitution, bloating, and heartburn can be problems. Poor appetite and digestion makes them inclined to eat the same type of foods most of the time and be afraid to experiment with new foods. Inclined to low blood pressures, dry skin, and very cold hands and feet from poor circulation. Child blains are frequent complaint. Other tendencies include the rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis, hair loss, osteoporosis, and chronic fatigue syndrome. Worry about health can lead to what? Hypochondria. Although like fingerprints, every individual is different. People do share common traits, genes, dictates, or basic underlying type. But geographical origin, diet, religion, culture, and lifestyle all affect our appearance, behaviors, and way of thinking. They influence what we eat in our attitude to body shape, our state of health and predisposition to certain illnesses, even our expectation from life. A view from the East. A view from the east. After much trouble, a bookseller in Rajasthan found for, found for me from a private library a tattered copy of an ancient book on a man-woman relationship. In it, I discovered that even a couple of thousand years ago, there was a fascination with classifying people by type, and links were being drawn between physical build, psych, behavioral pattern, and predisposition toward particular illness. 
the book described four types of women in typical, typically picture, picture key language. Padmeni, lotus type. She has the lustrous and splendor of a lotus flower. Her skin is as fair as the jasmine. She is quite reserved, very loyal to her friends, family, and husband. She may suffer frequently from headaches, menstrual problem, and digestive disorder, but is able to regain her strength quickly. Chitrini, picture like. Her breast and hips are large, but her feet are small. She loves to sing and extremely fond of music, dance, and art. She is easily aroused sexually and likes to be attached in their wrist. She is generally healthy but may suffer from weight problems and joint problems. Shankini, conch line. Her eyes are big and shine, has a long face. She knows about the ways of the world. She is open, very short-tempered. She has digestive problems and suffer from headaches, arthritis, and liver disease. Hestiny, elephant-like. She is fat and open short with large hips and thigh. Her toes are often thick and crook. She is a great martial, matriarch, controlling everybody in the family. She has joint and back pain, breathing difficulties, and open sluggish bowels. So, we're done with the part one. Thank you. At natapos din tayo. Iba-iba din pala talaga ang ano yun, no, ng mga babae. Ng mga ano. So, mas maganda kung nga, pag-aralin, pas, mas pailaliman pa yung ano, yung awareness natin sa sarili. Morning. Ha? Ah, sige. Sige. Bye-bye. God bless everyone.